What's going on YouTube? Uh, back here in the garage with Pete's uh, 1800. I'm Pete, this is the 1800. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is the factory armrest. Putting these on for the wife. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll give you a little instructional video on how to do that. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, let's get at it. Okay, so in your box, what you're going to get is you're going to get one armrest. This little deal, I don't know what you call it, and two four millimeter Allen screws. The first thing we're going to have to do is remove the plate. Okay, the first thing you have to do is take out this bolt here and the one on the opposite side of the motorcycle. These are just under the armrest, standard Phillips piece of cake. You just remove these out. Might want to put a towel down. Okay, and we're going to have to pull this little screw out here. That's why we got to pull this up and off. Okay, after you pull the bolts out on that side, your next step is to pull this bolt, this one, and this one, and the same on the other side. Um, my particular bike, they're all the same length, so you don't have to worry about getting them messed up. You pull those off, and then this will be able to pop right off. The whole backrest will pop off, allowing you to get to those small little screws I'll show you in a second. So now this just pops right up and off. Um, it's super easy. I mean... And you just take out this little guy here. Hopefully I'm in frame. Place that to the side. And this thing just simply slides down and you pull it out. Now, there is a right and left side for this. So you just gotta slide that back on and then just simply slide it through the hole so that's not the right way. And then like that, and that's really it. So what we'll do next is you place your little gizzy in here. There you go. All right, just a little bit of thumb pressure. Push that in like that. Grab your armrest. You won't, looks like you won't need that uh, bolt again. So we just take our four millimeter there, line up the holes. Just gonna get them started, then I'll work on the other side. As you can see, that looks about it. Snug it up, put your bolts back in, and you're done. As you can see, they're pretty sturdy, you know. They look good on the bike. One of the main reasons I got them too is because they actually look like they belong on the bike. I've seen the Rivco ones and they just look like saucer plates slapped on the edge of the bike and quite honestly, I don't like it. Uh, one of the other things I did today, um, I installed the Rivco uh, footrests, highway pegs, whatever you want to call them. As you know, I had these ones down here um, that I kind of jerry-rigged up to go on my last trip because I needed these were way back ordered. Um, I took these out mostly because I did drag them around corners and it uh, gets me kind of nervous because they were digging in a little quicker. So at least these ones, you can fold them in. They're up a lot higher. 
Um, they look okay on the bike. So, you know, it's worth the money. Um, these were great and I wouldn't have been able to do my last trip without them. But when I was up in the mountains and up in some twisties, they were kind of scary. So be careful if you did use this option. Um, I see my, I don't know what to do with my hands. I feel like Ricky Bobby. Um, what am I supposed to do with my hands? Um, <laughs> that's it. So it's a pretty easy job to put these armrests on, as you can see. Um, it took me maybe 15 minutes, you know, 20 minutes tops to put it on. The only thing you might need to add is this, because on the other side, um, there are some burrs on the inside where the sleeve goes in to attach the bolts. So I had to kind of like clean those up a bit just to get the uh, part in, just the leftover plastic from the molding process. But it's super easy to do. Um, I would go with these in a minute. It helps the wife out. Uh, that's one of the things she hasn't liked about the new bike is not having really the comfort back here that the old bike had. So add a little bit of comfort, get her back on the bike, do some more trips, spend more money on the wing or another bike. Um, I only have two, so one more would be nice. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, post any comments. Post any comments. Remember, if you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, keep it to yourself. I'm just kidding, you're entitled to your opinion. Um, any questions or comments, uh, post them below and I'll get back to you. Uh, again, thanks for watching Pete's uh, 1800 and we'll talk to you next time.